So, hello and welcome to the multiplayer game system version 4 tutorial series. In this one we will be talking about armor or helmet to be more specific. So let's jump in. Uh, staying with the customized soldier, we have parts and we have some helmets. We already used this one to start with, so we can now pick uh, maybe this one or, or that one whichever you want so as we did with that let's also let's also drag this one here ah it will create the same problem that we had before remember it's up in the air but this is what we have uh, burgers cannot be choosers let's see meshes parts and let's call it sm underscore head underscore zero three and save it now we can delete that one now for this I wish I could drop it down somehow Show pivot. Can I somehow drop it to the ground? Well, if you know how to drop it to the ground, that would be great. Please let me know. Uh, otherwise I think I will have to stick with this because the only option I know about is to take it to Maya or Blender and then drop it to the to the origin and then it will work so uh, first thing first which I forgot actually to do for the other uh, the other helmet but let's do it here let's add usually I add a box but for this one I will add um a uh, um, capsule and drop the capsule to the ground now imagine if the head was here it's not well imagine because we will use this one for the details and stuff like that so let's go to our items all data tables items and we already talked about all of those settings we will just explore the the armor so I will duplicate this one and let's call it soldier helmet or something copy change it here So, the usual stuff. Remove the grid and let's create a screen grab. Nope. Yep. That should do it. Bring in paint, paste, crop, resize. Not good. Horizontally is a bit wider. So close it. Mm, now vertically is a bit wider. Yeah, good enough. 500 times 500. and save it let's call it soldier helmet save it close and close uh, inside our icons 
let's bring the new helmet ah the new icon change it to user interface and change this to UI and give it maybe 1.2 save now while it's selected let's go to our new helmet and put it in there so number of stuff blah 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 static mesh parts let's select this guy put it here skeletal mesh that guy put it in here will generate the price and everything we don't need to worry about the weapon we don't need to worry about the animations let's look at the armor details so here you select which what type of armor it is so head chest arms legs feet whatever uh, backpack trinket and cape you select any of those depending on the item that you're creating so we are creating a, a head or a helmet and then attributes at the moment they will be generated randomly but you can also specify them here and then talents if you want to add any talents that gives you you know like this helmet will modify will give you an extra i don't know 50 percent health or whatever you know you can also add those things here okay that's all so for the armor it's really straightforward it's very simple uh, now item class is master pickup as before we don't need to take anything for the equipped socket uh, I already for for the other helmet I needed to make to manipulate it a little bit because it wasn't made for the mannequin but for this one because it's made for our soldier so hopefully we don't need to change any of those we can just leave them on zeros and the scale at one and we don't worry about the backpack so save it let's just copy that and let's go to our maybe lobby just duplicate this one and let's do no that what did we call it soldier helmet that what we called it so let's make it a soldier helmet and we're done save all play from the main menu I like to play from the main menu because it makes sure that uh, it's loading all the all the components and everything you know as intended so let's take this guy because we have the body separated from the head let's go to don't take some armor why not and here we go this is the helmet it's hanging on the air so let's take it and now if we look inside our inventory yeah this is creating a mess uh, we probably need to take it to Maya and edit it and put it down and give it a, um, a collision box we didn't give it that so let's choose this one and say equip so it's equipped in the uh, as you can see here it's there and it's ready to go as intended so that's pretty much it that's how you create helmets or you know like armors you can do exactly the same for all the other slots and they will just work all what you need to worry about is remember to add the collision to the uh, to the helmet not not like me i forgot to add it to the head and look how messy the things became uh, so yeah for the helmet for this helmet it's working just fine if we go back you see it's uh, updating and all good all good in the hood all right 
thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one where we will talk about something new and something else all right thank you very much bye bye